Is it is you now? How? Oh. You're very secretive. It will. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard for me to let go But I think that I'm finally feeling good again Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Thank you all for your support on my last video. So today I'm with my mother. Hello. <laughs> my bosom baby. Celebrating Christ. <laughs> so today we're going to be doing mother tag, patient and answer. So stick around, you're going to enjoy this video, hopefully. First of all, my mom is going to introduce herself to you all. I am Mrs. Ogechu, there's a long justice of the peace. I am a child of God, a renowned one by his mercies. So let's get into the game so mommy can you allow me to marry a foreigner hmm. <laughs> you know we always want the best for you if he is a child of god love your family you know and love our way of life um, i don't think i'll mind much if christ is in okay mm -hmm. no problem <laughs> <clears throat> And I want to be very sure that you know me so well. So, <laughs> mommy, how old am I and when is my birthday? Your birthday is on the 8th day of February. Okay. The second month of the year. Okay. Mm. <laughs> you know why I actually asked her this mm. question? She used to say February 7th sometimes. Like no, when I was growing up, February, mommy used to... February 9th. Okay, 9th. Because I was February. given an EGD day on the 9th of February. Okay, okay. You know, they so told I was, me I was sure. going to have my baby on the 9th of February. <laughs> But okay. fortunately, you came earlier than they speculated. Okay, 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 okay. All glory to Jesus. Uh, so, what's my shoe size? 43. I don't know 43 again. Did the, the, the legs grow the size? When it comes to sneakers, I wear 44, 45. Okay, because the sneakers now. Or heels, I wear 42 big, like very, very big. That's 43 single. Okay. So, I'm not wrong, am I? So, anyone, I don't mm. know. Mm, what was I like as a baby? You were. Pretty, plump, you know, very selective. Like, in terms of what money? The food you eat, the people that carry you. You annoyed one of my big sisters. She came to carry you when you were quite small. You rejected her. <laughs> and she didn't understand. And she sorry you. Yes, well, <laughs> she must have forgotten. Who is your favorite child? I don't know your favorite. Uh, or do you think I have? Mm, I think you do, yeah. <laughs> I think you do. Is yes. he my baby? I think he's Ike. Is he Ike? Mm -hmm. Or baby? I don't know, but I think he's yeah. Ike. Okay. I think my boy is getting the whole attention now. now. Because he's the last. He's the last, you understand? Okay. But I think he's Ike. I so do you have know. a favorite child? So tell us. <laughs> For now, like you said, I think he's Makwa. Because it's close by anyway. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about me? I mean, you know, I love you now. You're my only baby, my <laughs> celebrity in Christ. You will, mommy. Uh -huh. The next question is who is best at keeping secrets between us? You. Choko Oh, why are you feeling? Really? Is it is you now? How? You're very secretive. It will. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, you're yeah. not secretive at all. I'm not. Uh, now. I'm that was not. Certain. I know I'm no, not. Yes. So there's some secret that you should keep. Maybe someone is relying on you and all that. You just have to. Of course, I, I keep yeah. such okay. secrets. I keep such secrets. But so many things that people see as secrets, I don't think I see them as secrets. Mm -hmm. You know, especially when it's supposed to be corrected. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know me now. Mm -hmm. What was your parents like? And what was your relationship with them? Everybody will say that he's her parents are good. I'm saying weird because I don't have parents any longer. They are late. But my daddy was strict and very pushful. He won't allow you to, you know, have a breathing a big space. He was an achiever to the call. So he practically 
push tops all of us into the university. Renew quite early our ability, each and every one of us. He saw me as a very intelligent and bright little girl, you know. And to the glory of God, I will say that what I am today, by His grace, was because of my father. My mother was on the quiet side. She wasn't the ambitious type, but she was a very good woman that knows how to respect the husband. My mother tried to, you know, what I'm seeing with four children now. You can imagine something with the young children yeah. then, mm -hmm. how she managed. I thank God, I give him the glory. Okay, so the next question is, who has the best handwriting in the world? Oh, both of us. Mm. You don't know, have a beautiful handwriting. Your own, is, your own is better, I would say. I and it should be better. What we love the most about each other? Uh, what I love about you is that you have your own mind. You know what you want for yourself. Then you go for the best. You are neat, though you got that from me. And you know. <laughs> but it's true. It's true. You are very, very clean, very neat. Oh, then again, you? Another thing I love about you is that mm, you are an achiever. You know what you want and you go for it. I will say, you got from who? You! <laughs> what I love about you, mom, is that you're very, very caring. Like, you try your best to provide, like, give us the best. You try everything, like the best, the best education, the best everything, right from where we're growing up. Love the fact that your food is very <laughs> nice. I don't know how you do it, mommy, but I don't know how someone can cook without using Maggi. You have a whole lot of knowledge about healthy, being healthy, exercising, all those kind of stuff. Because it's so hard to like have a family and still take care of your body and try to like keep fit I love the fact that you're very prayerful you're a very good woman so what do you mean by being a good woman? it does allow you access to my phone <laughs> <laughs> it's part of it now it's mm -hmm. part of it though so that's all okay so what's the next question? okay the next question is advice for any man trying to come into my life into your own life? yes Hmm. First of all, the man should be neat to the core, clean. He should have the fear of God. He should be disciplined. Hmm. Be honest. That one is very important. The man should not be a gambler. Like somebody that tells lies and he will deny it to your own face. I'm happy it annoys you. For me, it upsets me. Very upsetting. God will help you mm. to find such a man. Mm. And he will. And the man that will love your family, love your mother, and take care of you. And be able to provide for his family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be able to provide. Not that you won't have your own. You are an achiever. I've said that earlier. But the man should be able to that is what makes a man. So why did you give me the name Chukubisong Ma? Hmm. Hi. You know Why? Because he tolerates me. When I say this, people might be thinking, eh, this and that, that. God loves them too. But from the happenings in my life, I know that God has a special place for me in his heart. Choko Kusama, that means that God is beautiful in every ramification. Before I had you, I waited a little. During that period, I went to my friend's house. She called her daughter Choko Kusama. I was wondering. I told her, I said, Wando, this is daughter, is it because she's so beautiful that? No, she, she called her Kusama. He said, eh, is she that beautiful that she, you had to give her the name of someone? She said, no, that she's not the one that is beautiful. That is God that is beautiful. That her full name is Choko Busoma. Yeah. I just said, okay, that that is my daughter's name. And from that day, then I hadn't conceived. So when I conceived, I started calling you Choko Busoma when you were still. And they told me. So that is how the name came to be. Okay, so the next question is, Mm -hmm. 
What annoying thing do both of us do? Okay. Mm, just like everybody, you have moods, you know? Mm. But I can't, I have, you know I'm your mother now, so I know you. Or rather, I have come to study you. I know you very well. When I see such moods that are annoying, like it's, you know, I always give me good gap. Mm. I'll wait for you to come to me. Then I'll come back again. Because at my age, I don't want anything to stress me. <laughs> so anything that will stress me, I try to be the one you call dodge. You know, <laughs> like children will always say, I dodge them. I'll just dodge it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then another one is that you can't stand people that are irritating. You know, people that upset you. That is. You can't stand people. You, I don't know. Do I say that um, you can't tolerate people that don't behave well, people that are not respectful? Let me just put it like that. You have zero tolerance for people that misbehave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm trying to put the people. Okay, so let me see my own. Mm. Mommy doesn't know how to keep secrets. <laughs> so sometimes it can be so annoying. Like I just want to like tell you something and I don't expect you to like tell maybe one of my siblings. You understand? Mm. I don't expect them to know. Mm. Mommy will not tell you. The mom is strict though. Mm. Mm. And it can be so annoying. Like very, very annoying. But like, ah, oh, mom is so strict. She wants you to do this thing right. She wants to go. When you when we start growing up, we start understanding that this is how it is so assuming she didn't do all those things so it so couldn't have been better just like my daddy <laughs> he was so strict that i hated him we all did but today you know exactly. we're saying we thank god for him yeah. if not for him we are we have ended today what was my first word as a child do i remember <laughs> i remember grand not uh -uh. Mommy, grandmother. No, not grandmother. Wait, okay. wait. Your your first word, your first word yeah. was mommy now, but I can't remember how you pronounced it. Okay. So um, I want to say the one I remember very well. You were calling grandmother yun yunsh. I want yun yun. I want yun yunsh. You know. Yeah. Uh -huh. What do you have to say about the course I studied? You know, initially, I never liked it. Theater and film studies. Uh -huh. hmm. Initially, I didn't like it. I had a dream for you. I wanted you to work in a multinational company. I wanted you to study French, and you were very good in French. Yeah. You know? The way you said we we're going to study theater arts. Hey, I thought you could share, you know? Uh, very well. Nice. Uh -huh. Until one professor, professor was telling me about She said, What cause? Uh, that's what I wanted to study. I said, Theater arts. The man is going to say beautiful. But now, not even now, when you were still in school, when you were in secondary, I started in Chinese, you know. I was happy that I left you to go and study that course. Mm. You know, I was very, very happy because it made you to be versatile. Like now, you, you can sew, you can make up, you can cook, you can sing, you can dance, you can write stories, and almost everything you can do them. And not just doing them haphazardly, you can do them very well, you know. So I think I'm happy that I allowed you to pursue your passion to the glory of God. Mommy, <laughs> <laughs> to the glory of God. Of course, to His glory. Everything is to His glory. Thank you. Remain blessed. God will help you in all your endeavors. Amen. Please thank you all for sticking around to this moment and do not forget to subscribe, like and drop a comment. If you want to still be seeing my mom in my videos, do well to comment. Yes, I want to be seen. <laughs> we can actually make it possible. So thank you so much and we'll see you all in my next video. Bye! Blessings! Enjoy yourself! God bless you! I love you all! Mm -hmm. Mwah.